So I drove out of Detroit Wednesday night, drove to uh, Sean's house in Brooklyn, picked him up, picked up Scott there too, the little book bug reading back there, broadening his horizons. We went up to uh, Troy, New York, right in the middle of a big snowstorm, that was an adventure. About six hours for 120 miles, I think, wasn't it? It was fun, they were nice people. Said a word out to the president and all the Congress game. Well, they studied, yeah, they argued, pointed fingers all in blaming when them lights went out, nothing had been changed. I had a question for my preacher man about the evil all around. About poverty and starving folks in war. Well, my preacher, he agreed, and he said it all was bad, but in heaven you won't worry anymore. Well, then he laid us in a prayer, and on about a dozen more, we prayed for peace and temperance, our knees upon the floor. And when I opened up my eyes, his pointed fingers shook and blame, said it's Satan's fault that nothing had been changed. Well, come on, mama, don't shake me down by what I need to do. Wrap them arms around me for a while. I know that times are tough. Loving's all I need from you, and it don't cost no dime to see you smile. I woke up early in the morning, hitch it up and go to work. That sun was out and that western breeze felt fine. Well, I zigged when I should have zagged with my bamboo pole and jug. Headed to the creek to stretch some fishing line. Well, morning turned to afternoon. My work day had been spent on some fishing and some napping. That's kind of how it went. Yeah, and in the boss's office, the next day I was sent. I said, blame that senator and that preacher man. Blame that president. Well, blame that senator and that preacher man. Blame the president. Well, blame the senator. Yeah, that preacher man. 